Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to build our first wind turbine. Uh, it is February now, too. It just turned February, so we are in the last month of winter. Um, so let's see here. What do we need? We need this. So we got all the mass and power built up that we need. Uh, we're going to need three circuit boards and two ropes and some adhesive. We already have two ropes. All right, look at that. Um, so we'll grab that and that, and let's make three circuit boards. I've been hanging on to these ingots uh, for our next upgrade we're going to do, which is going to be on our bow. Uh, we're going to need some copper fragments too, so that's just enough to make three of those, isn't it? One, two, and three. Beautiful. All right. Um, I'm making a bunch of boards here, as you can see, because I have a full stack of wood. I still haven't quite gotten up to my 300 nails yet, um, so we're still working on that before we start the next uh, part of the building, but I wanted to get that wind turbine up and take advantage of the final month of winter. Uh, February al always throws one last blizzard at us right towards the end, um, so you, we can expect to get you know some pretty decent power from that when the time comes. Um, let's see, what else did we need besides that stuff? Um, oh, and some scrap. Okay, so let's just grab this scrap here. And we're just waiting for that final circuit board. Now, what's going on over here is that I am uh, waiting for the current um, set of crops to completely mature. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant everything together uh, so it all more or less grows together. Now, I know the potatoes take a little bit longer to grow than everything else, but that's okay. Uh, the tomatoes, carrots, and onions pretty much grow at the about the same rate. You know, assuming they're all equally fertilized and watered and all that, too, of course. Um, so that way we can just have, you know, an equal amount of each type of crop. When the stacks in the fridge get full, I'm assuming potatoes, carrots, and onions also max out at 40 like tomatoes do. I don't know that for sure, but I think that's the case. You know, then what we'll do is we'll just keep them in the crop plots because they'll, they'll stay preserved in the crop plots until we need to pick them. And that way, you know... Uh, in in an effort to continue to try and get away with just one refrigerator for now. I will eventually have two refrigerators. I'm, I'm almost certain that I will, uh, but I'm just not at the point yet where I want, uh, you know, to have to do that. Uh, so I'm fast tracking potatoes in particular with fertilizer. But yeah, see, these guys don't have fertilizer, but they grow so fast anyways by, you know, uh, by comparison, and I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so I think, do we have everything now we need to make our first wind turbine? Let's get that sucker made. Boom. Ah, that's awesome. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll have to, I'm going to make two of these. Uh, well, I'm pro I might even make more than two, you know, when it's all said and done, but I want two right away. So again, we're going to grind uh, the power and mass back up to get another one of these made. And then of course, we're going to want to, um, upgrade them too. I, I guess it's worth upgrading the wind turbines. I guess I don't know for sure. Um, all of the everything you guys see up here, as I've mentioned multiple times now, is temporary. This will all be redone uh, as we continue uh, working on the build. But let's just put this here for now. And this is what it requires for upgrade, which you know that is not that expensive. It'll increase uh, increase its power if we do both of them by 50%, which is pretty substantial. And it's already doing 0.05. Um, but it's, you know, relatively windy out, too. So we might, eh, I don't know. I'll probably get the other one made first. You know what, though? We could we could knock this out pretty quick, couldn't we? Uh, it's really it's really the mass that we need to do. Um, everything else is, is wouldn't, wouldn't be that hard. And I already got the ingots because, you know, we can just make more ingots as we need to. Uh, the hunters have been pretty quiet, which means they're. I'm expecting an attack here pretty soon, um, probably even today. Um, so you know they haven't really bothered me in the last couple of days, which means that they're about ready to attack. <laughs> so I haven't messed with them at all. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. Okay, so you get two of these guys going on a relatively windy day, and yeah, that's gonna that's gonna help a lot, especially once we get them upgraded. So yeah, we just have to regrind the mass back up. Um, we have enough power already for the two upgrades, I think, but it's just the mass that's going to take a while. And as useful, you know, we'll wait until the uh, mass gets naturally to 100%. 
and then from there we will um, do our stuff. You know what though? Why don't we? Why don't we get the other items made? I think I will upgrade this first before we make the second one. It doesn't matter in the long run because we're gonna have two, and we're gonna upgrade both of them. Um, so to do these two upgrades, I'm gonna need two more circuit boards and another rope, and I already got the ingot. So let's just make those now, so that way it's done and ready to go. All right, so uh, we need two, oh, we're gonna need some copper, which we got tons of copper. Uh, okay, so two more of these. And another rope, which we make right here. Okay, cool, and that should, uh, get us everything we need to make the the two upgrades once we have the power and the mass available to us put all that stuff back we're up to 152 boards plus a couple more that we're still making there which is great okay cool so um how are you guys doing are you getting close they're getting close they're getting close and you're getting close too very nice uh, fires are in pretty good shape. Let's just grab the ash out of both of them and throw it in the potatoes. And I think we're good to go at this point. So, um, next thing we want to do, I think I get, we're going to go out and loot. That's what we're going to do. We need to go looting. Um, I'm not going to bring lock picks with me. Uh, for one thing, I don't have the mass to make it right at the moment, but. Um, I just want to get the nails built up and I want to keep the power and mass building up for the other turbine and for the upgrade So we'll we'll get back to lock picking later, you know And it seems like every time I go out without lock picks I run into like two locked crates <laughs> Go figure right, uh, but that's the way it goes. So we have 259 nails there We want to get up to 300 before we start building. Uh, let's put our, our rope there. So it's ready to go and We're doing reasonably well on ammo. I'm pretty low on nine mils, but I don't really uh, well, you know what? Let's make two more of those just so we have a full magazine's worth. There we go. And then we'll put the rest of that back in there. Uh, we're doing pretty good on shotgun shells. We're doing pretty good on rifle shells. Uh, 11 arrows is decent. It's a little bit on the low side, but it's not too bad. So, oh, look, the maters are done. Oh, some of them are done. All right, well, we'll just wait for the whole thing to finish. Um, in fact, we're going to get 16 tomatoes out of that, so... We're not going to be able to fit them all in here, but I do have an extra slot that we could temporarily use and we could whip up a whole mess more of tomato soup because I got like a full stack of medicinals there. Um, so yeah, we can do that, but I don't want to do that, you know, when we're going out. We got to be home when that's happening so we can catch it. Okay, let's go out here. All of our chickens are still working their way up to level 10, so that means they're still producing eggs for us. Uh, they're in pretty decent shape on water and uh, food and all that, so they should be good to go. Let's throw these eggs in here. I'm assuming these probably stack to, to 42, so... Um, we're going to need to probably start thinking about making some bacon and, or some steak and eggs just to start using these. Uh, th isn't there one other recipe that also... Well, there's boiled eggs. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm planning, you know, since we still have a bunch of ribs and whole chickens left, and we're going to get three more whole chickens pretty soon, I'm mostly restricting myself to eating the big meals so that we can get our, our cap uh, all the way maxed out, which will be 125. So we're up to 107 on the health and 105 on the stamina, uh, too, by the way, on that. Okay? Uh, so, that being said, why don't we... Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and take one of these with us, and we'll eat it. Uh, when we're out and about, but we're gonna have to wait a bit longer before we're ready to do that. I am gonna take one drink of water um, And it is snowing which means it could start blizzarding later, but that's okay We're not gonna get that far away from the house, and I do have my heat packs um, And my coat and all that. Okay, let's head out and start doing some Some looting. We're, we're after those remaining nails So we can start working on expanding our base some more Let's do this uh, yeah, so it's February now. Uh, we'll have about, let's see, so we, we have 90 days in a year, which means we have, uh, okay, so if we had 60 days in a year, we would have, 
um, six days. No, not six days, five days. Yeah, we would have five days per month if we had 60. But since we have 90, I think we have, is it seven days per month or something like that? I don't know. My mind's not wanting to, wanting to do math right now. Uh, but this is day two of February. So basically we have about five-ish more days of, of winter. And like I said, we're going to get one last you know, nasty blizzard right at the end of February. Uh, seems That seems to happen every time I've seen it anyway. And then once once that's done, uh, actually before that blizzard comes, let's put the nails down here just so we can see them easily. Before that's done, the, the lake will melt. Uh, the ice will melt. Uh, but then we get hit by that last blizzard. Unless, you know, Cold Games has changed that, but I don't think he has. All right. So nails is the name of the game. We'll, you know, go after everything else. Uh, let's not hunt right now. Well, oh crap. Okay, you know what? We're close enough to where we can at least kill these guys. We're not going to stop them from damaging the base, but we can catch them. That's the nice thing about the frozen lake. I mentioned this before too. They can get to me easier, but I can get to them easier. What goes around comes around, baby. It works both ways. Every time these bastards attack my base, our nail count goes down. <laughs> well, and our board count too, for that matter. Hey boys. What you doing? Oh, how did that not kill you? Wow. Two shotgun blasts point blank did not take him out. Unless I... Unless one of them missed, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have, to, I'll have to watch that clip later. It seemed to me like I was right there at his face. And he survived that. Of course, he is armored, but still. Yeah, they did... They did some damage here. My goodness. Yeah, well, they both... When I came up on them, they both threw a grenade at the same time, so... All right, well, that's too much damage for me to ignore. We gotta, we gotta get that repaired. So let's take care of that first. And then we'll go back out and... Hopefully, at least find enough nails to recoup what we're going to use repairing that. And that, my friends, is the frustrating part of playing this game with hunters on um, random attacks. But it's part of the challenge, you know? I don't know. I just kind of feel like if I turned that off, I wouldn't wouldn't be playing the game. Uh, no, I don't want to put those in there. The way it's intended to play if that makes any sense. Or maybe I'm just crazy in the head. I don't know. You know, this this game would be a lot easier if hunters were on revenge only or even no attacks. Can I eat this now? Nope, not quite yet. It, it would be a lot easier for me anyways, just because I've every time I've played it, you know, I've always had the hunters on random attacks. And I don't want to make the game easier for myself because if I do that, um, I might it, it might not be as enjoyable anymore. You know what I mean? So I'd rather just kind of complain about, <laughs> about them attacking and screwed, you know, sucking down our nail supply all the time, and still enjoy the game in, in spite of my complaining, than make it no longer fun for me. You know what I mean? So that's kind of my stance on all of that. If anybody, any of you who play or any YouTubers or whatever who play. Otherwise, no judgment on my part. You got to play the game the way you enjoy it. You know, I just enjoy it with all the challenges that it offers in its, uh, you know, it's it's intended. Uh, well, I don't know if intended is the right word, but normal settings. I've thought about hardcore. I might try hardcore as a as a side thing, but from what I've been told about hardcore from my buddies and stuff, I don't think I would enjoy it. You know. There's one thing about it's one thing to have a game that's challenging and hard 
But if it's so damn hard that, you know, you, you just spend your time being frustrated the whole time, then that's not fun, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, this has to be fun. Absolutely it is the number one priority. It's got to be fun for, for me. It's got to be fun for you guys to watch me do it, which it won't be if it's not fun for me, you know? So that's the deal, man. That is the deal. Okay, so all those stairs look good. We, we are, oh, we are getting a blizzard in too. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that the hunters did pull us back. Not that we couldn't have handled it, but still. All right, let's check all these. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That needs some attention. That's all right, and that's okay. Yeah, it's nasty out here. In fact, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and turn our lights on because we could definitely get some more company here. And let's put our coat on, too. It's chilly out. Okay, did I catch everything? Let's look under here. Yeah, see, that needs a little attention. That's okay. That needs a little attention. What about down and around in here. I think I already checked all this earlier, so it should be okay. It's easier to check that stuff from up above anyway. Okay. These guys that are way down in here, um, I can't quite get to them. I'm sure they need some repairing, but hopefully they're not uh, in real... Well, actually, we can see what they're like by looking at this seam here okay see they're damaged a little bit but they're not too bad I can't repair them from up here see if I put my hammer on it it still doesn't what if I yeah see it won't let me do it so but they're not in that bad of shape either because they're they're pretty well protected especially with the ice there so we'll have to hit those and you know when the thaw comes let's put this away here so now we're down to 223 nails. Thanks, hunters. Can we eat this now? Boom, baby. Look at that. Okay, now we're up to 108 on our health cap. That's a beautiful thing, and 105 on our stamina. We're gonna, we're just gonna keep cranking out that really good food until we get to 125, baby. Once we get to 125, you know, then I, then I'll probably start eating some of the other less potent food. Um, you know, like the tomato soup and the chicken soup and the. Steak and potatoes, or no, I'm sorry, steak and eggs. Oh, cool. Okay, so we so we harvested everything. All right, let's work on this then. Uh, you know what, though? Before we do that, let me just take one last peek, because we could be getting hit again here. Whoops, sorry. Let's get this out with our light on. Okay, nothing right now. How much power is this thing cranking out in this blizzard? Oh, look at that, man. 0.1 power. And that's not even upgraded. It would be doing 0.15, right, if we had it completely upgraded. Uh, we're still waiting on the mass for that, though. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I mean, honestly, I probably should have gotten those up at the beginning of winter, but, you know, it just didn't quite work out that way. Let's turn this light off. Let's turn this light on. Um, how is our power? Yeah, 1.1 in, 7 one out. We're doing good. Let's replenish our, not that, this. Uh, this guy, keep him going. I run him almost 100% of the time. Let's put the potatoes in there and the maters. Okay, cool. So here's the deal. We are going to evenly plant all of these crops together. I have a few seeds here that I've just found from looting. So let's grab those first. And we're going to ne basically need three more tomatoes okay so that gets our whoops that gets our tomatoes going um let's do potatoes next so we need seven more potatoes okay uh we need seven onions and we need seven carrots Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to plant all of these together. We'll turn these guys back on. And that way, you know, again, assuming I keep them evenly watered and fertilized, which I will, we can harvest them all 
at approximately the same time, with probably the exception of the potatoes, which will always lag behind a little bit. Because they take longer to grow than everything else. Cool. All right, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be good, you guys. We're going to be really good. Let's take these six tomatoes here. Let's first of all top off our chickens out here. How many? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. And then, since it looks like we're going to be staying in the base tonight, um, let's make some tomato soup with these other two. We're up to 39 eggs, so yeah, we're going to want to make some steak and eggs, too. Um... Yeah, there's nah. I, I was gonna. I was thinking about maybe doing that right now, but I don't think we need to. We'll wait. Okay, so everything's planted there. Let's make sure everything is fully watered and fully fertilized. We can make a little more fertilizer there. We just grabbed the fertilizer out of the chickens. Okay, so water and then. We'll split that in half, and we'll give you that. I'm not going to try and make them perfectly even, but close enough, right? Um, there we go. If if we favor anybody, it should really be the potatoes, actually. Uh, you already have a lot of fertilizer, and you have a lot of water. Let's throw you in there. Let's split this in half. And, okay, so you got full water, full fertilizer, full water, full fertilizer. We'll give you some more water, and... Full fertilizer for you, and put the rest in there. Excellent. Okay. Let's refill up our canteens here. And let's drink one of these ourselves. And oh, you know what we should do too is let's top you off. And we'll just top you all the way off. Why not? Because why not, right? Get these waters back in here. Well, uh, we're going to have to... Who has the lowest fertilizer? I think you do, right? 92, 100%, 100%, 100%. Okay. Uh, I was about to say something about what we were going to have to do, and I can't remember what it was now. Okay, let's go out here and turn our lights off because it is dawn so we can save some power so probably the that attack yesterday was from Charlie so that means I'm expecting Alpha and Bravo to attack us today that's kind of seems to be the, the pattern recently Charlie attacks first and then the next day the other two attack and last time they did they attacked at exactly the same time too so I had to deal with five of them at once so that was fun Okay. Cool beans. Um, all right, so where are we at? You guys are getting kind of lowish since I have plenty of these. I'm just going to top you off right now. I know I should wait a little longer, but I've already talked to you. I mentioned that to you guys too. The problem with waiting longer is then I forget and then it goes out completely. And then we have to waste an ignition source, so I'd rather just do it now while I'm thinking about it. All right. So we are we're in pretty good shape. We just, like I said, we just need more nails. We got a whole bunch of boards, which is great. Um, over 140, uh, no, 843, not over. And you see, you're working on potassium. We got some iron built up there, but again, we want to wait until we can get our upgrades. Oh, actually, we could probably do the first upgrade now. Let's take a look see. Yeah, we can do this upgrade now. Okay, so we need an ingot, scrap, circuit, and sinew. Ingot, circuit, scrap, and sinew. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay. And then um, we like we already have all the other materials. Again, we just have to wait for the mass to build itself back up. I've never found a turbine. Here, actually, let's drop this off real quick just in case the worst happens. I've never found a turbine in a hunter base. That doesn't mean they're not there, but I just never found one. Um, and there's, I usually have less of those than, yeah, see, they're all coming at the same time. Okay, this guy is wounded. Let's just focus on him. Oh, man. Okay, if you're going to hold still, we'll get you first. Crap. Okay, let's get this reloaded. You dirty rat. Alright. Let's deal with you first. They're, they're like separating, you know, and spreading me out. And I ran out of bandages, so we're just going to have to bleed for a bit. But we're this guy's not getting away from us. He is going to pay for his crimes. I took a, a medipack, so we're not too bad on the health. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. That was kind of a, a bit of a <laughs> chaotic fight, so I don't know how much damage they actually did on the base. Uh, you know, they were shooting at me a lot too, though, so I don't think they did super severe damage on the base, but we'll see. The nice thing about when we get the water back is that they'll start getting caught underneath the dock again, and then. You know, then we can deal with them a lot e more easily when that happens. All right, let's put this back on. I guess uh, Bra I'm going to say probably Bravo. The other Bravo guy might have gotten away from us. Um, yeah, he probably got away from us, but that was definitely Bravo and Alpha at the same time. Makes me want to maybe go just raid them. Do I have any grenades? I don't. Eh, I mean, I can make some, but that's going to take more power and mass away from us. Um, and let's just let, let this one go. We'll let it slide. We'll kill him later. <laughs> He won't get away with it forever, right? Just for now. Okay, we got to make ourselves some more bandages. We're getting a little lowish on cloth. We might need to start hitting some rabbits along with wolves and everything else. I'd like to have five of these. Yeah, 17 cloth. That's pretty doggone low. Okay, let's put this up here. Put that down there. That can go there. Uh, is our, where's our mass at? It's only at 18. Okay, so we'll put this in here. Let's throw these blueberries in the chicken pen because I already have a full stack in the refrigerator. Well, we'll give them a grub too. Why not? I think the grubs should give the chickens way more food than they do in this game because chickens are all about grubs in real life. Um, here, let's pull that out, put that in there, and that'll fill this back up for us. Oh, you can go over 40 with eggs. Okay, that's good. That is really good. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we got we to gotta repair again. Okay, let's grab this stuff. Okay. 1337. 
How are we doing on time? Yeah, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap up this episode here. We're right right at about the end of the episode. So um, I'm going to get everything repaired here and um, probably go out and, you know, just keep doing some off-camera looting to try and get those nails built back up because what I'd like to do in the next episode is continue working on the base. Um, and the goal is to expand our interior all the way out to these walls, get a roof... Uh, above and uh, yeah and that'll be the next part I, I have lots of base expansion plans for this place by the way um, this is definitely not all it's gonna ever be uh, oh look we got a thingy out there uh, but you know we just have to do do it a little at a time as we have the resources to do so while continuing to have resources to repair when these doofuses attack us let's just throw that right on into here Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.